I, I'm mm-hmm. not sure who who said it, but it's like perfection is not when nothing can be added, but when nothing can be removed. And mm-hmm. I really appreciate mm-hmm. that. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah, yeah I no, that. I I definitely yeah. have to agree with that. Um, and I almost wanna wanna just give um <clears throat> a quick view of of what just sketch me looks like from from like um the initial encounter with it so i'm just going to share my screen for a couple of seconds just to talk about a few things that that really stuck out to me um so you know this is this is kind of like once you open the web app this is what you're presented with and one of the things that i really like is like this to me almost feels like i'm looking at a uh, almost like my desk at school when I'm starting the day. It's like there were a couple of things on the side that I'm going to need later in the day. But for now, I've just got this blank canvas and I've got like the center of my focus in the middle. And I mean, some of the ideas that you're speaking about here, just by how it's laid out, like there's what? I think there's one word on this entire screen. <laughs> <laughs> like that's not a very common thing. And it, it, it's the, the the idea that you mentioned of like, you know, taking it as far as you can until you can't remove anything else. And I think, you know, also taking into account what the, what the, the, the word that actually exists represents in the larger scheme of things. Um, in a sense, it, it, it almost puts a specific emphasis on what a word represents in the context of a screen like this. Um, and I think, also as a designer that's something that i can really appreciate i think the other thing that was that was super cool was this little circle you know you've got like a whole white blank canvas and then there's a random dot <laughs> and it's like <laughs> that was the first thing you would think that the first thing i look at i would look at is this model but the first thing that stood out to me was this little dot and i was like okay what happens if i click on it and this is one of the most important things when dealing about uh, with 3d objects being able to actually perceive the 3d environment on a 2d screen and so like there are a few subtle things that as a user you almost don't think about but when you analyze it from the perspective of a design or a person who is just considering product and user experience that are you can see are intentional um and then there was also this little guy at the, at, at the corner. Also, I mean, I'm dyslexic, so anyone who folk, like doesn't require reading of me, you're already in my good books. <laughs> um, and I'm, there was, there was, there was a, a lot that really stood out. Uh, another nice thing about um, about only having the word upgrade on the screen is that I recently went and localized the uh, the both website and web, web app to Portuguese. Spanish and Japanese, uh, and the, the web app actually doesn't have that much that much text in it. Um, but what's what I uh, what I wanted to do over here is mm-hmm. I wanted to make two things apparent. Uh, first off, right? Okay, technically mm-hmm. three things, but one of them was about people giving me money. Um, mm-hmm. Is and and you can immediately see what they are based on the color, right? Is that you've got the tab on the left side and that's highlighted, mm-hmm. and you know immediately that that is the model in the center because it's got mm-hmm. the little color block next to it. It's got an image of that character, and mm-hmm. it's got a couple of things that you can do. And these are these are things that we understandably use. Mm-hmm. Um, and they also have have tilt tips if absolutely necessary. And then the mm-hmm. second one is. Uh, the four tools on the bottom because those are the fundamental tools that the user uses and they are also mm-hmm. uh, when you come in highlighted in uh, the I think when you start it's it's orange on the f- mm. uh, mo- leftmost yeah. tool ah. and so those are the only things that you need to start right they're the only things mm-hmm. that you need to start posing this one character mm-hmm. then you might get to a point where you're like I want to add another character so you look around the screen and there I guess so if you the the first one that'll catch your eye, especially considering we pan from left to right, top to bottom, will mm-hmm. be the two human uh, thing, right? And yeah. you know if you if you click that and drop it down, there's a bunch of characters to choose from. Um, I see you've been tabbing through them, um, but then the the <laughs> third one that I that I used color to emphasize was the upgrade button because <laughs> mm. you know. Um, 
but so essentially what I, what I wanted to do is I wanted to make it as accessible as possible. Now, mm -hmm. if you'll, if you'll uh, humor me for a second, can you just press the yes. little question mark in the top right? So when you first loaded the app, this is the tutorial screen. Now, mm. originally I had built out an extremely complicated, like, you know, those, you know, those, uh, systems where they like highlight this and it's like, okay, click this mm -hmm. yeah, like that adds a character story. to the screen. Now, mm. what I was saying earlier about how tutorials are actually pretty bad modalities for learning. It was, mm. it, this was a perfect example because people could just click through it and not actually learn how to use it. But mm. most people, I, I'll say like 95% of people just ignore it. Right. <laughs> What's nice about What's nice about having a super simple tutorial like this is it mm. pops up. You immediately know what it is, right? Yeah, and you can skim it if it's your first one, but you don't, it's not necessary for you to complete it. And you can just say, gotcha, and it disappears. But you also know that mm -hmm. you can bring it up at any time just as like a quick yeah. cheat sheet. And I found that just having like a very quick cheat sheet that was very like available was mm -hmm. so much more useful than a significantly more complicated uh, tutorial mm -hmm. design. And that's the yeah. rationale around so, that. Something that I'd, I'd actually add on to that that, that that struck me about this is um, because what the, the assumption that you make when you create a tutorial is that you know what the person should be learning. You, you're assuming that what you're telling them are the things that they need to know to solve their problem. But something like this, in a sense, it's like, okay, I'm, I start, if, if I'm on, uh, oh, let's go, gotcha. If I'm on this screen and there's something that I need to figure out, I know where the thing that I need to figure out is because there's really only one interface. And this shows you, in a sense, what each thing is. And so if I just want to know what this specific icon is, in a sense, it's showing me a representation of what I normally see with additional information overlaid over it. So there isn't like the the usual like tracking, like, okay, is this tooltip the thing that I'm trying to learn or this tutorial, is it teaching me what I need to know? In a sense, it's just putting it all at face value in some sense. Um, yeah, and I and think that uh, to me is really cool. Thanks, I, I, I appreciate the compliment. Uh, but mm -hmm. also you'll notice it says, want to use Just Sketch Me Like a Pro? Check out our tutorial videos. And that's where yeah. I kind of talk about like um, depth. Uh, depth comes later. So it's like once you figure mm -hmm. out these basic moves, mm -hmm. then mm -hmm. uh, you can figure them out by yourself, but you can also go and once you have that context, it's like the carpenter who goes and then sits in the lecture hall to learn about different kinds of mm -hmm. wood grain, right? Mm -hmm. Is you, you now, once you have that context, can go and watch a video and be like, oh, okay, so if I add a prop to the scene, like a sword, and then I yeah. click the little, this button, and I click on the character's hand, it will move the sword into their hand, and now when you articulate the character, it will articulate with the sword, um, mm. is is sort of more of a more of a pro move. And you can create yeah. like very big, fancy dynamic scenes with this, and you can even import your own 3D models and stuff, but, Mm -hmm. From the get-go, what I really want to do is, you know those little wooden um, mannequins that artists yes. use? I, I just wanted to make that. 